I feel like I'm learning a lot on this job. It's um, very different than acting on a film. That's a much more insular process. Um, it's important how you work with others, but uh, this I feel like I'm constantly learning from other people. Do you feel like you learn from all the human beings you interact with on your show, on your multiple shows? Yeah, I think that's just a human thing. That's uh, some, something that you, uh, which, which especially for someone like myself, I'm, I'm basically in real life when I'm Clark Kent. I'm, I'm pretty much an introvert. I have always been since I was a kid. It's just, just I like my own company. Um, but the beautiful thing about whatever set you're on, whether it's a TV show or whether it's the game show, you do get a chance to learn. And I think as an actor or as a host or as just someone in entertainment, you should always strive to learn on a daily basis. Just as a human, you you should strive to learn. But, but even just for our job, I learn from people every single day, whether it's learning a character trait, learning a cool new accent from somebody that that I met in, met in a meeting or mm -hmm. watching someone be really cool to somebody else so I can go, oh, that's, that's empathy at work so I can put that into use later on or learning a cool fact that I can put into my improvisation where, I'm, where I need a bit of useless knowledge that just pops to the forefront. And working on a game show really, really helps because you meet people from all over the world, yeah. all, all different races, creeds, and and it makes you you uh, it it stocks up your your stores of knowledge. Now, another thing I feel like I could you know pick your brain about is co-parenting, which you've been so kind to include us in your life. And for those of us out here who are in a co-parenting dynamic. The harmony that you and your daughter Miley and you know her mom have is just so aspirational. What is a good secret out there, maybe for people to know to have that kind of harmony in their own co-parenting dynamics? Drew, um, I wish I could tell you <laughs> this is the secret. If that were the case. I would have sold 15 million books already. Uh, I, I would have read you, them. <laughs> right? Yeah. But, but I can tell you when it comes to our situation, I would say work. And it sounds like such a small thing. It's like work. But, but what's pretty cool is that's my baby mama right there. And that's her boyfriend, Jason. And that's my daughter, Miley. When people look at our TikToks, right? They see the picture of harmony and co-parenting and making a blended family that you want. We just sold a sitcom to CBS based on our fam family because people started seeing our family during the pandemic and went, oh my God, that's so weird. Here's the thing, and this is the thing that I even tell my writing partners when we're working on the sitcom. You see that TikTok and folks online go, oh my God, it's so aspirational, what's your secret? If you would have seen the five minutes before that TikTok. Good. The work it takes to get to that TikTok, just in life, the 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 yelling, the the screaming, the fun, the tears, the ups, the downs, the not being able to talk to each other for a week because you can't see eye to eye, you you are trying to make another person happy while caring for this little person. You want to strangle each other sometimes. That those TikToks would not be possible if we had not worked. For me to be able to love. Mandy the way that I do and she loves me and she has my back and we care about nothing more than the well-being of this daughter and then for me to consider Jason a part of my family the work that that took that's not for everybody because I don't think that everybody has that love for the other person you should mm -hmm. but I don't know if everyone can do it but if you can the beautiful thing is you have a family that you made and you have a child who has two parents that show their love because they love you. So that's my soapbox. I, I love it. And I'm just such an advocate for keeping that love and respect and a lack of tension away from your kids. So I just loved that. 
Really quickly, I know your daughter's about to turn 18 and thanks to TikTok and things like that, what did you say to your daughter, you know, when she said, I wanna go out and, you know, take a risk and put myself out there? I said, go for it. And um, the, the, the one piece of advice that I gave her is don't do it to be famous. That's my problem with TikTok and social media. Um, and, and, and I sound like old man Brady shaking my fist on, on, on my lawn. But instead of looking at it going, oh, I can't wait till I blow up and I want followers, be good first. If you're gonna sing, if you're gonna dance, if you're gonna act, be really great at it. And I really do believe that if you're great at something, if you become an outlier, the other stuff will come to you. So that's the only word of advice that I've given her and she's taken it and she's run with it and she's, she's gonna be fine all, all on her own. Well, I know she's gonna be fine um, because listening to everything you say is so salient, so wise, so sage. I think you need to father us all, Wayne, or you know, brother or shepherd, I don't know, but I preach, speak, everything you're saying, I'm like, absolutely, I'm hanging on your every word, really and truly. Um, it is such a pleasure to get to know you. Oh, thank you, thanks, Drew. And watch yeah. Let's Make a Deal, because you already are on CBS. You check your local listings. Thanks, Wayne.